Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and honored guests. Have you ever done that exercise where you sum up your life as a headline? Mine would have to be confused Floridian finally figures out the world. <laughs> I am a true blue Floridian. My great-grandfather came to Tampa from Nova Scotia in 1899, and I was born in St. Petersburg about 50 years later. Problem is, being a Floridian can really mess up your mind. I was always a bit confused and clueless about the world when I was young, because I was living in a place that wasn't real. It was like Disney World, something created for the tourists to enjoy. I longed for the real world I was reading about in my Alice and Jerry books in the first grade. Father wore a hat, the leaves fell from the trees, it snowed on Christmas, the robins left. Just about that time the robins were arriving in Florida and Christmas Day was sunny and warm. It wasn't until I took my first driving trip north with my then husband that I got my first glimpse of the real world. <laughs> When I saw my first mountain, I said, wow, a real mountain. My husband, and this might be a clue as to why we're not still married, <laughs> turned to me and said superciliously, that's not a mountain, you fool. That's just a foothill. <laughs> Somehow I managed to have two children with him. Actually, I think being a bit confused and clueless had something to do with that. <laughs> My daughters are confident, successful women ages 41 and 38. I also have four grandchildren who range in age from 20 down to twin boys age 4. My second marriage was to a university professor who published books and that's how I first got involved in editing. I finished my college education at the University of South Florida it had been interrupted by having babies at the University of Florida. I have a BA in psychology with a minor in English literature. All during that marriage, we summered in Michigan in a small community on the lake in a beautiful forest. This was not only wonderful for my daughters, but it finally gave me that sense that I was living in a real place with real trees. That marriage lasted 13 years. And after that, I did my codependency work in a 12-step program, finally, and I've been very happy ever since. In the 23 years that I've been single since, I've taught adult ESL, college writing, and my own creative writing workshops. I have also been doing uh, freelance sales writing, book editing, and ghost writing. The other defining thing about me, besides being a Floridian, is that I grew up in Unity School of Christianity, which was founded by Charles Fillmore, one of the New Thought Masters in the early 1900s. From the time I was about five years old, I was steeped in the knowledge about the power of positive thinking and about consciousness. I since studied other masters, such as James Allen and Napoleon Hill. To me, this is the knowledge that really counts. I'm in Toastmasters because I want to develop as much confidence in speaking as I have in writing. I feel like I'm in the right place. As a Unity author reminds me, this is what faith is all about. Without having to have every detail mapped out for us, we take the next step that spirit reveals and great things begin to unfold. The fellowship here at Toastmasters is a pretty great thing that's unfolded for me already. As to what my future holds, well, for a confused and clueless Floridian, I'm starting to get a few clues. Thank you.